Welcome back to the program. We're talking this week to the former Federal Finance Minister Nick Minchin, the former New South Wales Labor Minister John Delabosca. We're now joined by Tim Wilson from the Institute of Public Affairs after uh, some flight issues this evening. Thanks for getting here. And uh, Lachlan Harris, former Labor advisor. I want to look at the media reforms, which have really... Um, you, you could say this is a bit of uh, navel-gazing on the part of the media, but it, it's had um, a lot of reaction across the industry, particularly from News Limited uh, this week. have been scathing of uh, the reforms that Stephen Conroy has, has put up. The opposition don't like them either, and um, that leaves the government looking to the crossbench. And even there, it's looking doubtful as to whether this will get through, because they all have various concerns... And and the Minister's only set uh, a deadline of the end of next week for this to, uh, to get through. Tim Wilson, will it get through? Well, the answer is I hope not. Um, I think if you look at the conduct of the minister, he's been, he's been the one who's completely out of control in putting this ridiculous timeline. And the government has been out of control now, putting these uh, sweeteners in the package in, in, uh, in areas of supermarket reform, uh, as an example that's been laid out in The Australian today, uh, as a way to coax people. And this is a fundamental attack on free speech. This is a point at which a government goes from being problematic and making bad policy to becoming dangerous to our liberty. And we have to take so, okay, it very tell me, tell seriously. Me, tell me why this is dangerous to our liberty. Well, I think when you actually have a uh, government saying that Basically, in order to enjoy the privileges of being a media agency, they have to sit under a self-regulation body, which is overseen by a press czar. What you're doing is capturing the media in one place, and then you can progressively ratchet up the regulations and restrictions so about how they it's, well, it's not simply slope. I mean, this is exactly what happens. Whoever sees, you know, government agencies going around saying what we should do is deregulate things. Sometimes there are good politicians who do that, but more often than not, they like to increase their own power. Mm. This is dangerous. News Limit has been right. Fairfax has also come out strongly, and that's welcome. The real pressure now is Can on the independents. Come out strongly? Strong, well, they're strong enough, and certainly probably not as far as the Daily Telly has, uh, but strong enough. Now the question is, will the independents do what's right in favour right. of well, there's, human there's, rights there's, rather there's, than the their most, own self-interest? The most contentious point here is this um, government-appointed... Uh, public interest media advocate. Um, Orwellian named, I think. <laughs> would be. That would oversee the press council. So for the first time you'd have a government uh, appointee looking over the, uh, the press council. Uh, 